What's up nerds on the Renegade Cactus, but you can call me whatever you want. Welcome to the second day of the Game Boy Advent. We're just gonna let this intro play out. It's an invitation. A Konami character Grand Prix will be held on the crazy circuit. You're in, right? Konami man. Sure we're in. Damn. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's amazing how pixelated things can get. <laughs> Damn, this... Yeah, this song is amazing. Gotta love it. I don't... Underst I don't understand the lyrics except for louder! But actually, like... The voices are pretty good for a Game Boy game. All right, it's Konami Crazy Racers. Damn. <laughs> the music just gets, comes it back in. We're gonna, my goodness. We're just gonna make an IT card. I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit because I don't know how loud it actually gets. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the worst. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you know, I could also... <coughs> what was that? I could also... Ah. Mm, let's call it kicks. I could also just turn it down a little here. For me. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna jump in and then I'm gonna talk about it. Uh, rumor billboard, no. I mean, there are rumors, right? Check out this rumor billboard for all the info that you want to know. Okay, uh, probably just the um, the rule set, or rather how you play this game. I love this old, very old uh, PC look. You know what I mean? Like all of this is just like a browser thing, and we got the trash can all the way over there. It's it's amazing. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm still the, the music is amazing. All right. Gather yourself, focus. Focus. You know what? I'm gonna turn the music all the way down for me. You should hear me perfectly uh, and still hear some of the funky music. So this is Konami Crazy Racers. The, the, wow. Okay. <laughs> Why this game? I mean, there are games like uh, Mario Kart on the GBA uh, and a few other racing games and they are basically all the same. Pretty much. Or at least they, they look all the same, and I, I love it. <laughs> the GBA was not at all the best for racing games, but they were still fun. And one of them being Konami Crazy Racers. This is a game that I think I saw in magazines once. Or I, I, I saw an advert for not not on TV, absolutely not on TV, because I don't think that here in Austria it ever came out. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw about this game at least once and I was like, this looks so fun. <laughs> like, uh, you know what, let's go into the race menu. Uh, we're gonna go into a crazy GP because, yeah, let's go easy. I'm, yeah, I'm really not that uh, keen on, oh my goodness, the music. Not too keen on a hard experience here. Uh... I love the looks of this game. I really like Konami and their characters. They are so cute and vibrant. Also, I love this character select screen. Although it's a bit weird to navigate because I'm just pressing down the whole time. Now I'm pressing up, I'm pressing left, I'm pressing right. So it's, yeah, it's weird. So, people I know Goemon! <laughs> go, go, Goemon? Goemon? I mean, I always call him Goemon, but that's probably wrong. Goemon? Something like that. Is the star of the Mystical Ninja series. And technically, Goemon is a Japanese folklore. I think folklore. Pretty sure. That is literally the only one that I know by name. I'm pretty sure I've seen her before. 
this guy, I have no idea where where he's from, no idea where this cat girl is from. This one is, I think, from one of those um, side-scrolling shooter games where you're just flying around and shoot stuff. And this one is from Konami's Baseball, something Konami's Baseball. This one I always loved because of the way he looked. Like, I, I don't know, it's so simple, but I really, really like his design. This one is just, yeah, from the Easter Islands. I don't know. Uh, and this is a robot from who knows where. I could look it up, but I won't. I'm gonna go with this guy. And we're gonna go with the crazy cup. Ganbari Dojo, that's from Goemon, that's, or Mystical Ninja. Skybridge, no idea, Moon, or Skybridge is probably from where the octopus is from, maybe? Moon Road, Popping Beach. B class, we for the Hyper Cup we would need to be to beat the Crazy Cup probably. Also, I have no idea what the ones next to three of the four uh, <laughs> tracks are for. And we're jumping straight into it. Like this game doesn't pull any punches. We're just gonna drive around, get get some coins like the usual. Oh my goodness. Um, is there drifting? Okay, B is break. L is probably for items because L doesn't do anything and R looks like it's drifting. I just don't know if that's actually useful. Um, I still haven't got any items. And I mean, in general, if you ever play, if you have played any fun racer, Mario Kart, uh, Diddy Kong Racing, Konami Green Racers, whatever. If you have played any fun racer, you pretty much immediately understand this game. You drive around, you try to get first, uh, you throw some stuff around. I think I'm invisible. You shoot stuff. This is a rocket. Okay, this is basically the red shell from Mario Kart. I don't know if those were racers or just like... Yeah. Things are weird in this game. I got three blue, sh uh, blue rockets. I'm guessing they shoot straight ahead all the time. Oh, and they shoot all three at once. Or one after the other. So basically I cannot choose, okay, shoot one now, shoot one now, shoot one now. It's just, you press it and it shoots all three at once. Red is uh, our attack, uh, attack items. The blue bells, I, I think, oh shit, I think they are bells, right? The blue bells, oh, wait. Did I have to do something? Because it, for some reason it just took a quite a long time for me to get out of there. Yeah, the blue ones are just boosts probably all the time. And if you take a look to the upper left, it says power right next to the picture of the items. So I'm guessing if I just collect more items of the same color, I will just increase in power. Which is always something that I like. There is a dog running next to me. It's probably the dog of my character. I wouldn't know. Okay, we got Go, Goe, we got Drak, Taco, Puzzle, Moai, Ninja, and Nyami. That's part of their names, and I'm Cacts. No idea what my. We're pigs now. I love it. Like, this, this game is a fundraiser. There's. It's just a regular fundraiser. So, the main. Okay, there is a starting boost, I just haven't figured it out yet. Uh, the main, oh my goodness, the game, main gameplay is pretty straightforward. The only thing is there are some crazy things in Konami Crazy Racers, oh my goodness, uh, that you need to figure out for yourself, basically. Okay, I'm gonna get a boost, I'm gonna hold on to it and see if we can get another boost to increase in power. Okay, if we get a red thing, if we get a red item, we just replace it, I got it. Also, on this map, I'm not sure if I really want to get a boost, because this is a very narrow map and I'm... I just feel like if you're too fast, it's really not that great. Okay. Did that increase my power? Doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna leave the bomb there. Maybe some items can increase in power, some can't? I don't know. Maybe there is an explanation on the rumor board? I don't know. I don't know and I really don't care. <laughs> It's still a fun game, and I like that easy mode is actually easy. 
Like, there are some games, especially racing games sometimes, that even on, like, the easiest difficulty are still pretty hard. It's just that the enemies don't shoot their items. Uh, yeah. Don't really shoot their items at you. And I love that you can... Oh, damn it. I should have used my boost there. You know what? I'm gonna get invisible. I'm guessing this is invisibility. Like the ghost in Mario Kart where you just are invincible for a short time because you just can't be seen. Maybe? Just guessing here. Again. Because all the fun races have pretty much the same... Okay, there's a mole. I'm just gonna use a mole. What does it do? I don't know. I would guess I laid <clears throat> a trap like a mine with it. Like if someone drives over the the exact point where I put the mole, they will get attacked or just like uh, get sucked into the ground or something like that. You know, I <laughs> what I um, found out during this race, yes, I do have a drift and it's probably a good idea to use it. But on the other hand, those sharp corners are just way easier to do if you just use your brake button. Like, tap the brake button once and it's just way easier to actually get around the track. Let's boost through here. It's... I, I gotta say, it's, it's, it's just a regular old fun racer. That's why they're called fun racers in general. <laughs> um... Yeah, so like I said, I'm pretty sure I saw, uh, I, I saw some adverts for this and was like, this looks amazing, I kinda love it, I wanna have it, never saw it anywhere in stores and mostly forgot about it. And then when I, uh, when I discovered, <laughs> discovered uh, emulation, I just got reminded of this game and I was like, yep, you know what, I'm gonna get this game. I don't think I've ever played through it, if I remember correctly. It's just, it's just a game that I, every now and then, just pull out and play a few rounds and then forget about it for, for a while. And once I remember it again, oh damn, that was amazing. Once I remember it again, I'm just gonna go like, yeah, you know what, that game was fun. I should really give it another go. I'm giving... Oh my goodness, it's ice. I'm giving it another go. Okay, I cannot shoot that behind me. Giving it another go and just... Play a bit, forget about it again. Like, this is... This is... Do I call it a feel-good game? Kinda? But this is one of those old reliable games. Like, there are games that you just know... No matter when, no matter where, if you... Just play it, you're gonna have a good time. Will it be an amazing time? Is it one of the best games ever? Absolutely not. It's just a... Do I call it bare bones? No, no, it's... Why doesn't the power increase is the question. I don't know. Maybe the power can only increase in some... Uh, with some items? I don't know. Maybe just a turbo. Like if I get multiple turbos... Doesn't matter. I can also not throw this one backwards. Got it. But anyway, yeah, it's just one of those games. It just works. It does what it's supposed to do. It's harmless and innocent fun. <laughs> does it make sense? Like, anybody could play this at any point, even if you have no idea about the uh, economy characters. <laughs> you could just pop this game in in the Game Boy, in an emulator, whatever. Just play it for 20 minutes. Be done with it. Doesn't matter. Like, there is... There are no stakes. I mean, you... Of course, you can just play through the whole game. You can try your best to get... To win everything on the hard. That's... If that's what you're into, sure. Go ahead. But in my opinion, like, this is one of those... You know what? Let's try this one again. Let's play a round of this again. Uh, one of those type of games. And I love it for that. That's one thing that the GBA did really great. The GBA has a lot of just fun little games that you can just play at any time. And that's one of the main reasons I'm doing this series. That and because I uh, 
<laughs> that and because the just the uh, pun, basically, of Game Boy Advent came into my head one time, and I was like, okay, yeah, sure, gotta do this now. <laughs> it's worth. Oh shit, I'm yeah. It's not. It's it's very responsive, but I'm I haven't played long enough to actually be able to. How do I say it? Um, correctly steer everything, like know when to do what. Know what I mean? Does it make sense? Okay, let's get a, another blue one. Okay, this increased in power. So maybe the whole power thing is just for boosts? Who knows? Okay, full power boost. Does it just make it longer or... Oh! Now I can just use it three times. Oh, that's cool. I thought maybe like the first one uh, is a regular boost, second one is a stronger boost, third one is a long strong boost whatever no it's just you get three boosts and that's pretty much it got it <laughs> again still don't know if the power thing works with some attacking items as well or just a boost it doesn't really matter though like this is just hey we won oh i'm just look, look how cute this is look look how cute this is all of this all of this it's just cute penguins i mean i i, I love Penguins! <laughs> My dog thing is there. You're now qualified to take the test. Would you like to take it? Sure! Oh! I can do a basically license test to get to uh, unlock the next class. Let's see the explanations. This test can be taken here to obtain licenses. The higher the license, the more courses are avail available. Select it, the test and press the A button. Really? That's the whole explanation. <laughs> Time attack, Poppin' Beach. Limit, one minute. So I think... I just have to do this course in one minute. That is what I gathered. No items, of course, no enemies. Just drive around this track. Do it in one minute. That's it. I could try to, uh, to drift because this course looks like it's made for drifting. You know what? Sure. But it just doesn't look like drifting really does too much here. It's not like Mario Kart where you actually have a quite different... Um... Now ah, what's the word I'm looking for again? Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, like a wider drift, a... Um inward drift whatever it's just you go to the side a little bit and that's pretty much it so i'm not really sure like again drifting does anything for me also looks like i screwed up i'm over one minute yeah i failed okay let's try this again and just do the same but better i think if i just I still don't know how to start with a boost, doesn't matter. I think if I just go and do the lines, not perfectly, but just better, that I won't have any problems in getting under a minute. Right? 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I'll just have to like cut some corners here and there, but watch out as to not hit any of the palms 30 uh, 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 damn it right now i'm actually like 20 second laps or slightly above 20 seconds for each lap that's not good 50 that really doesn't look too good i'm even trying to cut some corners i think someone called me can't right now, I'm driving! Oh, by 0.33 seconds. Uh, okay, get, I'm sorry, I gotta pause for just a second. All right, back again. So, <laughs> we failed. Do I just wanna, you know what, let's go to test two, match race. Aim for the number one spot in match races. What are match races, just a regular match? Or are we just matched against a single enemy and we have to win? Seems like it. This one seems a bit easier because we have items and it's just one enemy, so there's really no big 
danger behind this, I would say. We'll probably do it in with absolutely no problem. Oh, you know what? I loved his voice there. <laughs> I really loved his voice. Wait, was this mine or his? I couldn't tell you. Anyway, let's set them all, probably. We do have quite a lead if you look at the minimap. We are the red dot, he is the white dot. I mean, quite a lead. There are not really long tracks, but still, we do have a lead, and that's it. After this, I'm not gonna take the other license test again, because there is something else I have to check out, because I think I remember there being something like a mission mode. Oh yeah, that looks like the mole that I put there. Um, and the guy is stuck. Yep, because he does... Oh my goodness, the mole just held him there for, I, I would say, like two seconds. Or at least looked like two seconds or something like that. That's pretty strong. I, I, I think I do remember something like mission mode or something. Which is also always something that I uh, appreciate in fundraisers. Like, as stupid as it sounds, but if a fundraiser is just fundraising, then I'm really not that happy about it. I like mission modes, I like story modes. Like, a story mode in a fundraiser can be so rewarding and nice. Yay! Yeah, okay. Whatever. Uh, race menu, license center... Item shop, like what items are we? Thank you for accessing the cinnamon card shop and welcome. I sell items here. I have to earn money to do my research. <laughs> Two of oh. Okay, this is interesting because I think if I. If I see this correctly, like I can just purchase the regular items that are in the game. And either we will like start a race with them, which I don't think. I think like if I buy this mole, then we can get two moles in the race then. Like the power thing, you know what I mean? J the same as we can get like three boosts in a row. We can just buy to unlock multiples. You know what? This will allow you to dig holes in the ground. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna buy both of them. Let's see. Oops. Let's go back to the shop because I can... I can set. I can set this one. And I can set it again. Okay. You know what, let's explain. You can set up to three types of items you bought yourself. Items set here increase the number of times they can be used. However, unless you get the same item during a race, it can't be used. Two of the same item can be purchased. Okay. So yeah, exactly. So now we can use the mole up to three times if we get three attack items. Is what I'm hearing here. I like that. Time attack, free run, mini battle versus... Uh, damn it. Am I? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, the license center is basically a mission mode, but I could have sworn there was something else here. Doesn't really matter. What is a mini battle it is? Bomb chaser or chicken? Drive on the brink, stop on the brink. Smash your opponents with bombs. Okay. Let's go with, with Germon, Goemon. 400 meter and I'm guessing like we're gonna all drive 400 meter and the one who drives the closest to zero wins okay I couldn't break enough oh damn that was close one on this one interesting like interesting Let's go with the bomb chaser. Uh, let's go with the little octopus. It, it even as a voice, you know what? Same, uh, same course. Okay, no, that's a different course. It's the same look, basically. Okay. 
the same we're getting chased by the bomb so this is basically tag is what i'm seeing uh we also have only 82 percent gas anymore so i think i just got hit by thunder or the bomb okay now there was something that wasn't the bomb itself i'm gonna put a bomb back down so yeah we're basically playing tag and we probably have to uh <laughs> we probably just have to evade getting hit by the person with the bomb Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! damn it uh okay the person who just gave me the bomb got it back i okay we do only have 21 20 percent gas so i'm gonna stay here for a second oh no the gas still goes down even though we're not driving, so... That's, okay, yeah, it just goes down... Uh, faster when you're not... Uh, when you're driving. I filled up my gas. Ah, this guy almost spawned on me. <laughs> so basically we just have to, like, survive one more minute. And not get the bomb. And the person who has the bomb at the end... Loses. Is what I'm seeing here. That's fun. And that sounds like it would be amazing. Like in a at a party, like four players or uh, more. The thing is just it's <laughs> it's the Game Boy Advance, so yes, there are link cables and all, but okay. That one hit me. That doesn't mean that I can't hit him as well. Damn it! took away my item you know what i'm gonna put put down a crystal ah damn it almost yo 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 you you stay here please gotcha <laughs> okay now we're gonna drive through water which shouldn't be a problem we're an octopus but then again it's a race with fun little characters i am once again, not where the gas things are. I'm just gonna throw my rockets. Oh, leave me alone! Didn't leave me alone. 25. Okay, gave it back. And now I'm just... I think the gas just uh, appears... By the way, did I get the gas back? I don't know. I think the gas just appears in the middle, mostly. Which incentivizes you not to stay... What, what do these items do? <laughs> it incentivizes you not to stay at the edges at all time. Because of course, if you stay at the edge, it's way easier to avoid someone. But then you will just not get any gas back. And he's right behind me. According to the minimap, yep, he just got me. But he got struck with lightning. Can I just somehow... You know what? Give me that. I really don't want to lose right now. I hit someone. And I hit Goemon. Great. And yes, I can use the mole three times now. Which is really cool. And I think I just got some gas back because I hit someone with the bomb. That sounds like it makes sense. By the way, is it just me? Does the timer, like, reset... Kinda, when someone else gets the bomb. Uh, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Because I... Oh, shit. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Get away. Yeah, sure. And now it's 30 seconds again. Yep, the counter uh, gets reset. The timer gets reset. I just... I just don't want to lose. Everything else, I don't really care about. Where am I? Where are we? We are here. I just... You know what? Looks like I'm gonna lose unless... Got him. Okay, now we have to survive for 30 minutes, uh, seconds. I'm gonna stay here for a second because there are two moles right next to me. And the bomb switched, so we are at 30 seconds again. This is kind
kind of stressful. I see how it's fun. It's just that at some point, you really want the fun to end, right? Like, yes, it's, it's a really fun mode, but if it just keeps resetting to 30 seconds, it really does. It really does just keep resetting to 30 seconds, and that's not fun, in my opinion. Let's get go here. Just get away from the person. I don't have gas anymore, so I'm just gonna... Yep. Nope, I got gas again because I got the bomb. I, this feels futile, know what I mean? I just gave it to someone else. If it was like 15 seconds, I'd be totally fine with it. Because there is still a chance you hit someone in that time. Uh, the bomb is coming right for me. There's still a chance to get someone. And also there is still a chance to just go away. But like this, it's just 30 seconds. I'm pretty sure I'll have all the time I need to hit someone else. Probably. And then they'll probably have all the time they need to hit someone else. And then I'll have all the time I need to uh, hit someone else. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'll just drive into a wall and leave it at that. I'm gonna lose here just because I don't want to play this anymore. A fun idea. A weird way of actually doing it. But anyway, with that, I... <laughs> The music. I, I think I pretty much showed you everything that Crazy Racers, Konami's Crazy Racers, has to offer. And again, it's just a sit down, play it for 20 minutes, half an hour type of game, in my opinion. It's something I could see myself, like my younger self, play through for days on end. But that was at a time where I just had one game and then another game and maybe two at once if I was, if there was something special. like. This is not something that I would sit down and just be like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna complete this. This is also not something that I will probably ever play on the channel again. Because it's just fun and that's it. Fun for myself and that's it. I'm <clears throat> I think like one or two episodes of this would be fun to watch. But more than that, you just get bored, I think. So is it still a good game? Absolutely. Is it fun? Yeah, it really is. Also, yeah, check out this rumor billboards. Aim for the overall top spot in the Crazy Cup. Oh, wow, thank you. Rumor has it there's something called a title. A button to accelerate, B button to break, R button to jump, and L button to use items. So R is just jump and not drifting. So there is no drifting. Different courses can be played. Items can be bought too. Work hard. So diamonds instead of... Diamonds far off in space. I think this is just like the, the space course and there are diamonds on the floor and that's it. Like, this, these rumor boards are just like a bit of flavor to the game and that's it. Weird. I like this game. I hope you enjoyed this episode, although it was a bit crazy. Uh, I hate myself for that. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm the Renegade Cactus and I gotta run. Bye-bye.